Welcome y'all, your boy Ring and the Silver here. We're here today, first week of school. You're gonna see me what it's like to be back in college. So excited. The past couple of videos you saw what it was like for orientation week, you saw the campus, so now we're here. We're back in college, we're back in school, homework, assignments, lecture halls, all that good good. I'll be hanging out in the studio as much as I can when I don't have class. I'm so excited. Let's dive into this video. Of course, please like and subscribe if you like this content to follow Full State University, follow Dan Patrick School Sportscasting, become a sportscaster, or if you want to follow your dreams and watch me chase my dreams. Let's go get it. More than 10 years after my first day of college, I'm back going to college for the second time. Let's get it on a Monday morning. I woke up to this text from my girlfriend, Mary. So amazing to see, started the day off right. This is the Sling app. This is when I know when to go in the sports studio. This is for a different week than the week we're in. Just showing so you see it. So I know when to go in the sports studio when I don't have class. There was no studio time my first day of class. So I had a late start in the afternoon. One o'clock to five o'clock class, four hours. Here's the lecture hall. We went over the different subject matters, the agenda for the class, the homework assignments, the different projects. So we had a great understanding what the month will be like. Especially again, because the classes are a month, high paced, and they're quick. And now we're on the Tuesday. I have a class Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's psychology. We had a fun icebreaker to start. We're actually in the same lecture hall, which is cool. We had to write our information on a piece of paper, make a paper airplane, throw it around the room, and then you caught the person with the airplane. You got broken up the groups, and you got a chance to get to meet your classmates, and these people became your project mates for the rest of the month. So fun session in the morning, afternoon in the sports studio. So I got to go in. Here is Chris running the video board and being director at the same time. Let's listen in to what it sounds like to be in the studio. Welcome back to Full Sail Live. I'm Ready, Tate Bravo, Bravo and I'm here outside Ball Arena where the Denver Nuggets have just won their very first NBA championship. And Nikola Jokic was the finals MVP where he averaged 30 points, 14 rebounds, and seven assists in just five oh, games okay. versus the Heat. Yeah. The Denver Nuggets won the title Ready, in front of their home Charlie fans in Ball soccer. Arena. The place was electric seeing their team win their very first NBA. As you saw in the orientation video, I was more of a fly on the wall. So this week, in my first week, I wanted to get my feet wet more and learn from the people, watch what they're doing, and try to do it myself. Right here, what you're seeing, there was no filming happening, so I was just practicing being on the video board. How do I get videos up on the board, move them through the different channels, do the transitions, just trying to do something to make myself better every day is what my goal is. Same thing right here. Now I moved over to the playback board. The playback person is the one who loads the videos up in the different channels, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and the video board person gets them into the TV. So here you gotta make sure you know what videos to load and what channels, when to load them, how long they're gonna go, so that way you go through. The homie Spencer right here is teaching me what to do, how to do it. Obviously, I've been in the tech world, I understand how to use a computer, but this is a completely different software video program. So just learning the trade. It's not the most complex position. It's all about timing and focus. Here's an example of us working together as a team. Ready, A, Dio, and Charlie. Charlie, ready. We're going to have speed chainsaw power music. chainsaws to remind the rest of the animals why we are at the top of the food chain. Roll Charlie, check, take. Charlie, roll. If you have more interest in what it's like to run the studio, please go back to last week's vlog. I have a full in-depth review for you, day in the life, working inside the TV studio. There was no studio in on Wednesday, so I spent the morning doing homework and my video editing, which you're seeing right here. Once class hit 1 p.m., we went over branding for our creative presentation class in terms of personal branding, corporation branding. I knew most of this stuff, but it was interesting still to hear, always relearn. And then we got broken up into our groups and we had to do a project on branding, create a whole presentation, make sure each of us built different slides in PowerPoint and it stayed on brand. Now you're getting a look at the Full Sail 1. This is the online portal. This is where all the homework is done, all the projects are done, everything is submitted. You see your grades. Each week you have to do discussion assignments. So you're going to submit answers to questions. Then you have to respond to people's answers as well. So you can see here you have one post required, two replies. Depending on the class, you may have projects you need to do. Here we have to do quests. So we have to create a weekly plan, find a mentor to talk to. It's a pretty interactive project. It's not, eh, fair enough. It is some busy work, but it's productive busy work. This takes us to Thursday, bike to class. Here we are, 9 a.m. class. 
Brad and Early. And we did a personality test here. I ended up at a three on the passive aggressive line and in the middle of the people task. Perfect sense. I'm not aggressive. I'm not in people's faces. I'm passive. I was a people leader, so I'm a people person, but I'm also very diligent in my work and get tasks done and make people do tasks. So that's why I'm in the middle. Here we're broken up into different groups based off of where you found the lines and then the groups have to talk to each other and you could really see the different personalities coming out. Team photo, baby. That takes us to afternoon, Thursday afternoon. And where else would I rather be in my second home? The sports studio. There was open office hours, open studio hours, meaning anybody who showed up, we create a sports cast. Five minute sports cast, each person is designated position in the studio, has to create different assets for it, such as a script. You'll see the rundown next. After that, you'll see a cut sheet. So we had to create all this. Again, go back to my vlog, what is the Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting to get a more in-depth view and look at what this is. This was my first time in open studio, so I really wanted to just, again, be a fly on the wall to learn the different positions. Here's the audio room. Not ready for audio room yet, because you really got to be on point there, making sure people's mics are correct, making sure the background music is correct, making sure that the music that is on people's videos is correct. So again, I just went through and tried to learn the different positions during the studio. For newbies like me, or people experienced in the program, this is a perfect way to hone your craft. Depressurize environment, just get better. And here's a quick snippet of what we did. Five, four, three, two, open this mic, fade up, and go. There's my tease for you. Go to last week's vlog, vlog six, what is Dan Patrick's school like, to see the full video there. And then at the end of every time, we get together as a group, talk about what worked, what didn't work, and how did we improve that day and get better. Now we're on the Friday. No morning class, no studio. Went for a five mile run around Lake Baldwin. From where I live to here, it's about 1.25 miles, two and a half miles around the lake, and then 1.25 miles back. Really cool to see. A lot of lakes around here in Winter Park. This is very tranquil, very beautiful. I didn't know this really existed, so running around it was great. Found it just on Google Maps. Went back already to meditate and hang out there. And of course, bike to class for the afternoon class, 1 to 5 p.m. Friday. Here we had to do our presentations that we showed earlier in the video. Our topic was turning country music fans into hip hop fans. So here I am presenting on it. Is there a lot of origins between country music and hip hop that you actually probably don't expect? Country music started in the 1920s in the South. Over time, it grew from the South to the Midwest to where it is today, a part of not just the Midwest, all throughout the US. There's big festivals like Stagecoach out there that have 100,000 people go to listen to country music. You have Lil Nas X, one of the most famous hip hop artists right now. Billy Ray Cyrus, one of the well known all time, right. one of your guys' favorites, old school country music. Old Town Road, number one hit song in 2019. That was country hip hop together, and that was over every radio you heard. And most I hope you found that convincing. So that takes us to Saturday. Now we have our psychology class. Again, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. We played Kahoot. He used this as a fun way to test us based off of the class assignment for the week, the class objectives, the class key terms, vocabulary. I came in fifth out of 40 people, not bad. After in our groups, we had to listen to a podcast around psychology and we had to answer questions on it. Sunday. We had school. Dun, dun, dun. Why? Because the next week was 4th of July on a Tuesday. As a month class, they had to make sure we did all our hours. So to make up not having class on Tuesday, we had to have this class on Sunday. So we're back in psychology. People made food as a, hey, it's a Sunday. We may not want to be here. We had fun. We played a tennis assignment. This counted as an activity for the week in terms of homework. Instead of doing one of the activities at home, he offered us to do it here in class. And I'm going to take that up every time. Sports guy. And then we watched Inception to end the day. If you're gonna have to be in class on Sunday because of 4th of July, you get to watch Inception, play a little tennis. Not a bad way to end the week. We'll go back home and do video editing on videos like this for the first week of school and all the other videos I put on the channel. Please subscribe, please like this channel, please share these videos, it helps you grow. So excited to be continue to vlog my experience so you can understand what it's like to be a student again, be at full sale, and chase my dream of sportscasting. Till next week, y'all. Deuces.